Morning, Ben here. Just out doing a bit of dog training with Buddy this morning. Bit of truffle scent training. Just come to our little uh, school car park here, which is normally empty this time of day, and I think it's kids' holidays. Um, but yeah, today we're going to go backwards a few steps with Buddy, who's very excited to actually do some stuff. But I actually need him to just go and do a poo and do his business first, so so that he's going to be able to concentrate a bit more. But um, I'm just going to set up here. And uh, on my back here, I've got my little indicator uh, contraption that I've built. Excuse me. Go do your go do your poo. Go on. So this is the first part of it, the main part of it. Uh, one other little piece that goes with this, like so. So this is designed to help train that part of the behavior in scent work and truffle hunting, um, which is the indication, which is not arguably, it is the more difficult thing to train in a dog. You know, dogs have got really powerful noses. They can pick up scents like there's no tomorrow. And that's sort of the natural behavior that is relatively easier to actually train into them mm -hmm. and get them to do. But getting uh, them to identify a scent. Mm -hmm. Hey bud. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yes. Oh, good boy, bud. He's already there. Get him to put his nose in this thing um, is, is the behavior that I want to train. So I've said it before, but um, what I'm looking to get him to do, the ultimate goal for him would be to A, go and locate and find the truffle scents, um, but then to indicate how I want him to indicate on these scents. And that is basically for him to, he would be like, yes, he would be lying down and putting his nose literally on the scent. And this tool is to help him uh, you know, get used to putting his nose right where the scent is. And in here, in here, I can obviously put put scent anything I want in here. So that's what this is. And we haven't used this in a while. I used it once the other day, but um, haven't used it really in six months since then. And I was more getting him to actually just try and find find the scents. But we're going backwards a few steps to really sort of bed bed this in. And I'm going to try and get him to. Um, to try and be a little bit calmer about it, but he's not. And, and then over time, I'm gonna try and build up the, the duration of him lying down and him with his snout in there and try and build up those, you know, half a second to a second to a couple of seconds to, you know, to as long as I want really by eventually. Um, but we're not there yet. Uh, he's too excited and he wants the tennis ball and he wants the biltong that's in my pocket. Um, but over time, we'll get there. And I'm just gonna record this session and let you know how we get on. It's gonna be a work in progress. Um, we're not going to do too much. We might move on and do some burying of some truffle bottle, scented bottles that I've got. Um, but I'm going to do a few rounds of getting him to just um, lie down, indicate with his nose in here. And if he's doing decently well, I'll try and build up to one second, a couple of seconds. Um, I'm still not sure in my own mind whether or not I want to encourage him holding that duration and like whining and being being sort of like really almost frustrated that he's you know doing this and not getting the treat straight away so i'm in two minds about that and he probably needs to do a bit more research but uh i think it's still quite good because it shows he's like really engaged and really sort of wants it um if he was just wandering around and doing his own thing then i'd be a little bit more worried but the fact that he still really wants the treat from me he really wants the tennis ball out of my pocket he's getting frustrated that he's not able to like figure out what I'm asking him to do. I think that's a good thing. So anyway, without further ado, let's go set this up. Have you done your poo yet? Have you done your poo yet? All right. I see. Good boy. All right. Truffle scented bottle going in here just to help associate the scent with the indication and uh, I'll do a quick one yes good boy that was an easy one to warm up good I see good boy ah. yes good boy boomerang I see Trouble on. Yes. Yes. Very good, bud. 
Very good. Tro uh, boomerang. Here. Heel. Away. Trouble up. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Yes! Oh, you get the tennis ball for that one. That was a really good one, bud. Yeah, I know, I know. But you did. Yes, bud. Yeah. I know, bud. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Good boy. Good boy. Boomerang. Trouble. Alright. Wait, wait, wait. Trouble. Oh no, bud, you've broken it! Trouble off. You've broken it! Yes. Good boy. You've broken it. Oh. Go on then, good boy. Off you go. So he's obviously getting a bit too <laughs> strong for his own good. Go on, yes, you, you put your nose in there. Good lad. But I'm super happy with that because he did a couple of like really, really good, uh, good ones and uh, got him to hold it for, I think, you know, you were going on for about five seconds there nearly, weren't you, mate? And calm as well. So that's actually a massive, massive jump up from when I did this just a couple of days ago. So really happy with that progress. Uh, so I'm gonna put this away now and uh, just for fun, because I know he loves it, I'm gonna go and hide some of these truffle scents in and around the leaf litter here and do a bit more, uh, a bit more of that training. And we'll try and get you to lie down and indicate on these scents, shall we? Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do that. We'll do that. Cool. Right, let's put that to one side. Get the uh, scented bottle out of there. And now we'll go hide a few of these. You're going to watch me hide them, but you kind of forget where I hide them, don't you? Because I, I, I put some dummies. I f do some fake hides, don't I? And you still have to use your smell. So that's the plan anyway. Right. <laughs> 